This is the story of my grandfather, who went out that fateful night to run errands, not knowing that his life was about to change. It is a story that has sent shivers down my spine since the day I first heard it, told by my dear grandmother, a tale that will forever be etched in my memory. Henry, my grandfather a middle-aged man then lived in a small town, his gentle spirit radiated warmth through every interaction he had. His kindness was a beacon that illuminated the lives of those fortunate enough to cross his path. Our town, nestled amidst the rolling hills and tucked away from the hustle and bustle of the world, was a place where everyone knew one another. The sense of community was strong, and strangers were rare in these parts. But fate, it seems, has an uncanny way of weaving the unexpected into the tapestry of our lives. It was a day like any other when the winds whispered their secrets through the rustling leaves. Grandfather Henry, with his heart brimming with kindness, set out on a seemingly ordinary errand. Just outside the boundaries of our quaint town, fate beckoned him towards a hitchhiker, a lone figure standing on the side of the road, bearing the weight of the world upon weary shoulders. Without a moment's hesitation, Grandfather Henry pulled his truck to a stop, offering a glimmer of hope to the stranded traveler. Jump in the bed of the truck, he kindly proposed, and I'll take you to Walmart. Innocently, the hitchhiker accepted his invitation, climbing aboard and nestling amidst the belongings that adorned the truck's sturdy bed. The journey commenced, the wheels turning as they carved a path through the picturesque countryside. Grandfather Henry, known for his amiable nature, engaged the stranger in conversation, sharing stories and laughter along the way. Innocence danced in Henry's eyes, unaware of the malevolence hidden beneath the hitchhiker's facade. The stranger accepted his invitation, his intentions veiled in shadow, blending seamlessly with the quiet desperation of the world outside our sheltered town. The journey began, the truck's engine humming like a lullaby as the tires kissed the pavement. Grandfather and hitchhiker exchanged stories, their voices filling the cabin with an air of camaraderie. But the darkness that lay dormant within the hitchhiker's soul began to stir, a beast yearning to break free. About halfway through their voyage, as twilight draped the world in a cloak of uncertainty, the unimaginable occurred. The hitchhiker, his eyes now void of any shred of humanity, raised a gun and aimed it at Henry's unsuspecting head. The sound of the gunshot shattered the tranquility of the moment, echoing through the stillness, and forever altering the fabric of our family's existence. For no discernible reason, the bullet found its mark, piercing through my grandfather's skull. The act of violence was senseless, devoid of motive or justification. It was an act of cruelty that defied comprehension. Miraculously, Henry did not succumb to the cold embrace of death, but the consequences of that fateful day would forever haunt him. The bullet's merciless trajectory left him permanently disabled, his mind ensnared in the clutches of severe brain damage. He became a prisoner within his own body, trapped in a realm of perpetual confusion and fragments of memories that eluded his grasp. When I first heard this tale, whispered to me with a trembling voice by my beloved grandmother, fear took hold of my heart. The realization that such darkness could exist in the most unexpected corners of our world shook me to my very core. Twelve long years have passed since that day, and yet the specter of that encounter continues to cast its chilling shadow whenever the topic of hitchhikers arises. Before we continue please subscribe, like, comment, and share. It was a cool autumn evening, the air thick with the scent of fallen leaves and the promise of an impending chill. My brother, a man of daring spirit and restless curiosity, found himself driving along a desolate stretch of road after a night of light drinking. The flickering glow of passing streetlights cast eerie shadows upon the asphalt, intensifying the atmosphere of solitude that enveloped him. As fate would have it, his path crossed with that of a hitchhiker, a solitary figure standing at the side of the road, his outstretched thumb an invitation to the unknown. In a momentary lapse of judgment, my brother decided to extend his hand of assistance, inviting the enigmatic stranger into the sanctuary of his vehicle. The journey began innocently enough, 
as the engine purred in harmony with the rhythmic beat of my brother's heart. Conversations danced in the air, weaving a tapestry of shared experiences and fleeting connections. However, darkness often hides beneath the guise of familiarity, waiting for the opportune moment to reveal its true nature. It was in those quiet moments, when trust settled like a comfortable blanket, that the hitchhiker's intentions unfurled like a malevolent flower. With an inexplicable and sinister grace, the man produced a shotgun from the depths of his concealed intentions, its presence an unwelcome intrusion upon the tranquil confines of the vehicle. With a voice void of remorse, the stranger declared his intention to steal the very car that my brother held dear. Yet, my brother, fueled by a stubborn determination and a refusal to surrender, chose to challenge this act of aggression. Brakes squealed, tires spun against the asphalt, as the car came to a halt, and the battle for control erupted. In that chaotic instant, a struggle ensued, a violent dance upon the precipice of life and death. My brother, propelled by adrenaline and a self-proclaimed tough guy persona, fought valiantly to rid the vehicle of this unwelcome interloper. The world blurred into a cacophony of desperate pleas and grunts of exertion. But as the pendulum of fate swung mercilessly, tragedy struck with a vengeance. A deafening blast shattered the night, echoing through the core of my brother's existence. Pain surged through his body as a chunk of his bicep was brutally torn asunder by the unleashed fury of the shotgun. Blood painted the car's interior, staining the fabric with a vivid reminder of his brush with mortality. In the aftermath of this gruesome altercation, the hitchhiker, his malevolence sated, fled into the darkness, leaving my brother wounded and forever marked by the scars of that treacherous encounter. It was a long and arduous road to recovery, one that tested his resilience and left an indelible mark on his physical and emotional being. To this day, my brother carries the physical remnants of that nightmarish event, a missing piece of his arm, a permanent reminder of the price he paid for his valiant resistance. His ability to lift heavy objects has been forever hindered, a tangible reminder of the fragility of our mortal shells. From that day forward, I vowed never to pick up a hitchhiker, their presence serving as a chilling reminder of the malevolence that lurks in the hearts of some. The shadows of that night continue to cast a long and haunting presence. As I cruised along the sun-drenched streets, my eyes caught sight of a man, weathered by time, standing at the roadside with an outstretched thumb. Doubt and hesitation gnawed at my conscience as I drove past him. However, the echoes of my mother's benevolent spirit resonated within me, the memories of her stopping to aid those in need etched into the very core of my being. Overwhelmed by guilt, I made a swift decision to turn my car around and offer the stranger a ride. He entered the vehicle with an air of gratitude, introducing himself with a name that has long since faded into the recesses of my memory. His tale of perishable groceries left to wither in the sweltering New Mexico heat tugged at my heartstrings, compelling me to embark on a journey that would forever etch itself into the annals of my nightmares. The destination seemed mundane, the local post office, a mere stone's throw away. As the wheels of the car propelled us forward, a disconcerting silence descended upon us like a suffocating shroud. His eyes bore into my soul, piercing through the veneer of politeness, leaving a trail of unease that snaked its way through my being. The sirens of intuition began to wail within the recesses of my mind, a primal warning of the looming danger that lurked beneath his gaze. In a twisted moment, pregnant with discomfort, he broke the silence with words that dripped with a sinister blend of admiration and desire. You sure are pretty, he hissed, his voice laden with an unsettling tone that sent a chill crawling down my spine. I mustered the strength to firmly reject his advances, disclosing my committed relationship and unequivocal disinterest. But his response, fueled by an unsettling determination, shattered the fragile illusion of safety that enveloped us. Undeterred by my assertions, he persisted, his unwelcome advances veering into the realm of aggression. With each refusal, the darkness within him seemed to deepen, igniting a malevolent fire that threatened to consume us both. 
Fear danced upon the edges of my consciousness as his words grew increasingly menacing, dismissing my relationship status with disdain, and persisting in his pursuit of possession. Anxiety coiled within me as his persistence escalated into aggression. Panic welled up, threatening to consume my very being. Desperate for an escape, I steered my car into the nearest turn-in, slamming on the brakes with a vehemence born of fear. My voice, strained and trembling, erupted in a plea for a semblance of goodness in this bleak encounter. Is it too much to ask for a little good karma every now and then? I cried out, my words laced with frustration and exasperation. Get out of my car, you cad. I added, my desperation mingling with the remnants of strength within me. To my astonishment, the stranger's blank gaze met mine before complying with my command. He exited the vehicle, leaving behind the forgotten groceries as a chilling reminder of the encounter. What unnerved me most was the absence of the promised meat, replaced instead by mundane eggplants and trivialities. Reflecting upon that harrowing experience with the wisdom of age, I am filled with gratitude for the lessons learned. The innocence of youth had shielded me from the perils that lay hidden beneath the veneer of kindness. I now approach the act of offering rides with greater discernment, the presence of my loyal and protective 80-pound dog serving as a comforting presence and a deterrent to those who may harbor ill intentions. In the desolate expanses of the Nevada desert, my father embarked on a solitary road trip. The sun hung low on the horizon, casting long shadows across the barren landscape. As he drove, a sense of unease began to settle in, as if the very air around him carried a foreboding presence. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the shadows at the side of the road, a hitchhiker desperately signaling for a ride. Against his better judgment, my father halted his car and rolled down the window. The man's appearance was unsettling, his eyes hollow and devoid of life. Ignoring the chill crawling up his spine, my father asked the man where he was headed. The response came in a whisper, barely audible, the next town, for now. Against all reason, my father allowed the hitchhiker into the car, the silence inside the vehicle suffocating. The hitchhiker introduced himself as Derp, a name that sent a shiver through my father's soul. The conversation that followed was laced with an eerie quality, as Derp spoke in hushed tones about forgotten secrets and hidden darkness that lurked within the human heart. As they approached a remote gas station, my father's heart pounded in his chest, sensing that something was gravely wrong. He pulled over and turned to face Derp, only to find an empty seat beside him. Panic surged through his veins as he scanned the desolate surroundings, but Derp had vanished into thin air, leaving behind an unsettling silence. Shaken to the core, my father pressed on, the road stretching out before him like an endless nightmare. The border loomed in the distance, a gateway to safety and escape. But fate had other plans. As he approached the crossing, a border official flagged him down, his expression inscrutable behind mirrored sunglasses. The official demanded my father's identification, scrutinizing his license with an intensity that made him squirm in his seat. With an air of trepidation, the official removed his sunglasses, revealing eyes that seemed to hold a glimpse of the abyss. A command to pull aside shattered any hope of a smooth passage. Confined to a small, windowless room, my father sat in the suffocating darkness, his mind plagued by sinister thoughts. Hours passed, time stretching like an elastic nightmare. Finally, the door creaked open, and the border official returned, an unsettling smile playing at the corners of his lips. Apologies were offered for the delay, but no explanation was given. My father, his voice trembling, dared to ask the reason for the ordeal. The answer sliced through the air like a chilling gust of wind. There is a warrant for the arrest of Derp, the official revealed, his voice dripping with malice. He is wanted for unspeakable crimes, including murder. At that moment, my father's blood ran cold. The revelation tore at the fabric of his reality, shattering his trust in the world around him. The road trip, 
once a mere adventure, had transformed into a nightmarish encounter with the darkest depths of humanity. The shadow of Derp would forever haunt his dreams, a constant reminder of the sinister forces that lurk just beneath the surface of the ordinary world. <laughs>